All right, welcome to the basics of storyboarding, uh, part one. So uh, here we're looking at a storyboard uh, from the original Star Wars trilogy. Uh, this is actually uh, the very first one. And you can clearly see how each panel here uh, in the story is, is very clear. Uh, it's very directional in terms of, uh, you know, how the ships are flying in and so forth. Um, and it gives you a little bit of key information on you know what's going on in the terms of the story uh, basically the job of the storyboard artist is to tell the story as clearly as possible so if we look here you know there is a lot of detail in certain areas but uh, other areas are left you know sort of open ended uh, even the gigantic planet here uh, which is actually the Death Star, uh, doesn't have every single little detail on there. Uh, it's there just to give you the idea, the feeling of the composition of that planet. So you don't have to have every detail. The idea is clarity, so in terms of the composition here. Uh, the next thing is to show camera angle and direction of action uh, for people or camera. In this instance, uh, the action of the ships flying in and so forth. So you can clearly see that, uh, that they're going in because of the repetition of the ship. Sometimes there's an arrow leading us in to demonstrate that, but literally this is uh, visually showing it by having a larger X-wing as it gets smaller and smaller as it goes back the distance. So you have that throughout there, and it has various camera angles. Uh, you want to show uh, basically the story, action, special effects, visual effects of the film, video. So typically, uh, story is definitely the first thing. Um, a lot of directors will have a storyboard artist work f for the action sequences, uh, special effects, and today, of course, visual effects. Uh, however, some directors don't want the entire storyboard for the entire movie. Now, uh, big, heavy visual effects films, like, for example, um, The Avengers, will have a storyboard for almost every scene. Because technically, everything has to be illustrated out before any production can begin. It's, it's a very big uh, part of the pre-production process. So we have here, the next step would be uh, show characters emotions, which is very important and uh, quite often uh, a lot of the emotional content of the story is carried through in the storyboards. And uh, also you can, you can be as creative as you like in terms of the compositions to tell the story and add lighting to the mood. So in this instance, uh, we don't have, we have one sort of close-up of a character, but not an extreme close-up where you can see the emotional quality of the content. But uh, you can definitely get an idea of the lighting. Uh, we're definitely in outer space. There is a, a shadow effect here uh, coming across on the Death Star, which is really interesting. Uh, here's another example um, from The Empire Strikes Back. This one basically breaks down even how uh, technically they were going to do like the uh, the uh, special effects of the speeder here was being controlled by some sort of uh, lift here. And here you can see the camera starting and end point for uh, the uh, walkers here in the sequence. So a lot of times they'll show you that direction through the rectangles or through arrows going through. Now it's changed a lot over the years. Um, and some of them are definitely more involved, like this one in particular has, you know, the shot number, animation, uh, it has a lot more information in terms of, you know, the content of who's going to be in there, the, the elements of its live action, you can see here it says live action with uh, electricity, and uh, the, definitely the animation here it says electricity, so uh, all that's done for the visual effects aspect. So what we're going to cover today real quick is basically set, uh, some film aspect ratios and then in the next tutorial we'll get into actually creating uh, our setup for the storyboard. But basically uh, film and video uh, has a couple of standard aspect ratios here. So the old school, uh, anyone born in the 1970s like me who grew up with television, uh, you know you have the 4 by 3 aspect ratio which looked like this. Uh, and that was taken over, uh, you know, by the 16.9, the, the widescreen, the, the high-definition television format. Um, in terms of cinema, we have the 2.391 and the 2.351, which is the anamorphic or widescreen cinema, also known as uh, 
Blu-ray, the 1920 by 800. So uh, you can see here how it's a little wider in terms of the perspective compared to the shot of the HDTV. And then of course the IMAX, which is the super uh, tall image here. Now uh, most storyboards are done with the HDTV, the 16.9. Uh, however, if you're interested in more widescreen uh, setup, you can do the 2.391. Uh, that's the one I chose to do. And I'm going to show you in the next tutorial how we set this up. We'll see you soon.